Let's cut the beat. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? We got some lit, lit, lit news for you guys today. Flames, flames, flames. Hitting y'all with nothing but flames. Let me say what's up to a couple dudes in the chat. What's up, Bowsette? Um, Game Streeter, Weber, JHF, Randall, Luke Forster, Soplox, Jabbar, Chief Debian, Claffy. What's up, everybody? Big Stout, Wagwan. What's up, my dude? What's up, everybody in the chat? First things first, you got to give the stream a thumbs up, man. We're already at 70 likes. I need 30 people to give the stream a thumbs up, and we will get to 100 likes real quick, boy. All right, so 28 more people, and we'll get to 100 likes. Thanks, everybody, coming out, rocking out with your boy, chopping it up. Bro, the PlayStation event is right around the corner, right around the corner, September. September 16th put it on your calendar September 16th 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time your boy will be live streaming make sure your notifications are on next to my channel where it says that you're subscribed there's a little bell make sure that bell is on so that when I go live you are right there in the chat and we're lit alright <coughs> two housekeeping items are we getting right to the news first you're gonna join adult gaming community. Three ways to join. Links are in the description. Next, um, uh, sixty dollar digital code giveaway. Um, that link is also. Uh, I mean, the information is um, in the description as well. We do them giveaways every month. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, and you get in the giveaway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing cracking. First news item and one concise piece of information I'm about to give y'all everything y'all need to know for the PS5 ladies and gentlemen. That's right Obi-Wan to the rescue. Do y'all want the pre-order? Do y'all want 
the launch date? Do y'all want the price of both consoles? And when you could pre-order? We got to get to 150 likes first, bro. We're at 105 likes. Y'all trying me, bro. I ain't giving y'all no information. Hey, hey, Bucks. Yo, you back? Good stuff, Bucks. Let me know if you want to run some 2K tonight. But, bro, I'm joking. All right, let me give y'all the news. Robert Serrano, the dude that's been, he's reliable, bro. He has been reliable. <laughs> Do you got everybody saying yes, 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 yes. Bro, he has been reliable, reliable, reliable um, in the past. The release date for the PlayStation 5, November 13th. The price for both consoles. The Blu-ray version, $500. The all-digital version, $400. When can you pre-order? Pre-orders will begin October 1st. October 1st. And he did a previous tweet, and I talked about this tweet before, where he says, um, October 1st is the date that Sony currently has planned for pre-orders to go live, but... Um, it's not the, um, they could, that, that date is open to being adjusted. And so let me say it one more time for you guys to soak it in, get all of this information. The reported, re the, um, reported rumored leaked release date for the PlayStation 5 is November 13th, November 13th, three days after xbox now i really do think i really do think sony just knowing how sony is in the past i think sony knowing that they know xbox's information they they should i think they should leapfrog them and launch like november 6 or or something like that but november 13th the release date console prices 500 for the um blu-ray i'm probably gonna end up getting a blu-ray version now just so i can play 2k three hours early um all digital 400 and pre-orders are rumored set to go live october 1st ladies and gentlemen are you ready bro a new generation is upon us and we got the information we want and bro Sony is making some drastic changes to their shipment plans drastic according to GameSpot Sony is reportedly making a costly a costly move to get more consoles on store shelves a fear that many fans have including your boy because I still don't have an email from Sony I, I'm, I'm I didn't check my email today but a lot of people are afraid am I gonna be able to get a ps5 at launch well check this out this is GameSpot Despite still not having a price or concrete plans for pre-orders, Sony is anticipating high demand for the PlayStation 5 this holiday season. Bro, the PlayStation 5 is going to kill it this holiday season as long. A shout out to Dane Deisner for the $1 super chat with the dollar bill emoji. Thanks, Dane. Appreciate the love. It's about to pop up. But bro... Sony, the demand for the PlayStation 5 is going to be crazy this holiday season. And it's going to be just a matter of whether or not Sony can meet that demand. Dre Day reviews with the $3 Super Chat. P PlayStation was just waiting for Microsoft to drop their price. You're right, Dre Day. Hey, Dre Day, appreciate the love, my dude. Um, that's a nice profile pick, too. Thanks for the $3 Super Chat. It's about to pop up in a second. Yeah, they were just waiting. They are playing price, price chicken, bro. Who was going to go first? And now we know um, Xbox went first. And now it's Sony's time, bro. Sony got to hit us with the flames, bro. All right. And so Sony's anticipating high. I'm telling you. 
you could just check take there's polls online i know sony's doing their internal surveys um just the views of the playstation videos the demand for the ps5 is up there big stop with the two dollar super chat i knew i was right on that price talk that talk big stop hey for everybody who just dropped some super chats let me get a money emote out hey appreciate 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 the love my dudes we're at 144 likes six more people like the stream we'll get to 150 likes let's do it right now bro all right according to daniel ahmad daniel ahmad i follow him on twitter he is a um, industry analyst, a video game analyst, or whatever he does. But I like his tweets. And he's spot on. He has inside sources on information, too. So pay attention to this. Analyst at Nico Partners, he's saying that Sony has already scheduled numerous flights with PlayStation, PS5 stock for the US in order to meet retail demand for a next gen console over the holidays. Ahmad states that he isn't sure whether it is 60 flights or 60 planes worth of flights being readied, but that this method of shipping will incur a bigger cost to Sony over traditional shipping via the sea. And now he's also citing that this is a Quiana Young with the $5 um, super chat showing some love, bro. Appreciate it. Broken Nation, shut your mouth, big stout. I was right. <laughs> talk that talk, Broken. Hey, both of them are sponsors in our Discord, big stout and broken. Shout out to Broken and big stout. Quiana, appreciate the $5 super chat. Hey, Broken, appreciate it, bro. Hey, hey y'all been tripping me out lately in the Discord, bro. Hey, y'all need to become a sponsor. You watching the stream? Hop into our private gaming Discord. We be chopping it up, talking about gaming, trolling Xbox, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Gaming is fun, bro. But um, he's all the the article is also saying Quiana's gonna pop up right now, and then Broken is gonna pop up. Broken. I got to give it to you, bro. You were the first person I saw that said November 13th. Well, no, no, no. I, I remember Big Star saying it too. Obi, now you got to buy my PS5. Psych! Hey, I don't know if I'm going to do a giveaway uh, for the sponsor for a PS5. I don't know yet. I don't know yet, bro. It, it's going to be... I can only get one through the retail stores. I'm going to go to mo multiple stores. So I can't, I can't promise anything if I can't get it. At this point... I'm just trying to secure one for me, bro. <laughs> I just need to make sure I get one, bro. <laughs> All right. Now, the article continues to say, hey, we crushed 150 likes, bro. We're almost at 200 likes. I need 40 people to like the stream. Let's get the 200 likes. Shout out to Broken Nation for the $2 super chat, bro. Um, This is identical to what Nintendo did back in 2017. Husni Aziz with the sec twenty dollars with the sec twenty. I don't know what sec converts to, bro. But thanks, bro. Love the content. Oh, bless up from Sweden, DJ Bay. Hey, appreciate the love, Husni. It's about to pop up in the chat. Bro, broken. You're making it rain today, bro. Here's some more. <laughs> broken. So here, broken. Say here's some more unemployment money. <laughs> Hey, appreciate that unemployment super chat, bro. You're a fool, bro. You're a fool. Um, now, this is what they're saying. This is identical to what Nintendo did back in 2017 to meet the growing demand for the Nintendo Switch at the time. Broken, you're a fool for that. The company absorbed the additional costs in order to ensure 2 million Switch units were available to retail ahead of its launch in March of that year, which was only disclosed a few months later in an earnings report. Back then, it was estimated that the cost of the shipping was around $45 per unit. Cost them $45 per unit to ship it? Wow! Um, and so this is um, Daniel Ahmad's um, tweet. He says, Sony are using air freight to ensure that PS5 can meet demand supply enough units. The company has booked 60 flights from October Delta 747s to ship consoles to retailers. 
this supply is expected to last through the quarter air freight is faster than sea but more expensive this is crazy bro instead of shipping it across the ocean on freights which is slower they are air shipping them bro bro i i'm, I'm feeling a little bit more confident that <coughs> if you want a ps5 before christmas you should be able to get one especially if you hop on those pre-orders bro get your pre-order monies ready um by the end of september early october to get those ps5s it's good to see sony because you gotta think they, they know man the more consoles they're able to get in the hand of consumers the more profit they'll make in the long term they may take a short term hit for a long term bigger profit and so i'm glad i'm glad they're doing this uh makes it seem like as soon as those shelves we run out of stock they could just air airship some more ps5s and so this is dope 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 news now this next news item i talked about this um, briefly yesterday but more detail about another leak another leak with the ps5 price this time from a spanish retail a b dizzle b dizzle i appreciate the two dollar super chat bro that discord name and number you gave me on my gaming channel it didn't work i tried to send you a friend request but it said that name couldn't be found um send your name again it's easier for me to um follow the chat on my gaming channel tonight when i'm on my gaming channel send me your discord name and number i'll try try it again um double check your number but he says xbox series dead on arrival winner ps5 by tko yeah now the now this is my thing the xbox series is gonna do good this holiday season they're gonna struggle in 2021 2021 could be the year microsoft stops selling consoles bro i've seen this picture before bro i've seen this story before bro hey gamer realm podcast what's up bro i see you as a a, a member of the ogc what's up bro all right um but this was i reported on this briefly yesterday but more information spanish retailer has also listed the price of the ps5 we're the hype hat tomorrow bro let's get hype yes now i don't know where you're at who's but for us it's going to be in two days on wednesday in two days for us it's going to be the event the hype hat will be on for that ps5 event boy boy all right the PS5 um, physical 500, PS5 digital 400, according to this Spanish um, retailer, they even have a screenshot to prove it from their internal things. It looks real legit, bro. And so get ready those prices. Mike Medina with the $5 super chat. Took that date off from work back in August when you broke the news back then. Hey, lit, Mike. Hey, get ready, bro. Get ready, bro. But you know what? Even if you at work, um, for just for just the pre-orders, just pre-order it online or something, bro. You'll be good. Um, and so multiple sources are saying a 400, 500 price point. Let's talk about these price points for a second, and we have a couple more news items. This Xbox Series X S news I'm about to talk about. Oh my goodness! But um, I think this is this will give. This would put Sony in good competitive position with the um with with the Xbox with Xbox um and Big Style say quiet broken don't make me ban you <laughs> Big Style is a mod <laughs> abusing the mod powers hey <laughs> but um what was I gonna say because the Series S is three hundred. For $100 more, you could get a significantly more powerful console. And at $500 for the Blu-ray, it's the same price as the Blu-ray um, Xbox Series X. So I think this will put Sony in good competitive position. But um, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Bro, 
speaking of Sony and dominating this holiday season, one of the most anticipated games for the PS5 is Spider-Man Miles Morales. And Insomniac Games has just tweeted out, Miles Morales PS5 is realized in 4K HDR on PS5. And watch what they say. See reflections with ray tracing and improved lighting, shadow, and character detail. Oh my goodness, bro. They letting y'all know that our big launch title will have ray tracing unlike Captain Game Pass. What was Xbox thinking when they showed Halo Infinite, bro? This is what I don't get, man. But I do get it. It comes down to developer talent. Hey, Bucks, I think it will, man. I hope it will, at least. I think it will come out the same day. But, bro, the Xbox Series X is more powerful than the PlayStation 5. But it seems like the developers for the PlayStation 5 is tapping more into the power of the hardware, bro. Broken. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Broken, you know I can't read that, bro. I'm Jamaican, bro. On <laughs> Twitter, big stuff. <laughs> bro, you a fool, man. You a fool. <laughs> but, bro, um, <laughs> it comes down to developer talent. 12 is greater than 10. But how are these 10 games looking better than these 12 games, bro? I don't get it. I do get it. It's developer talent. And so, um, they let y'all know that the PS5 launch title, Miles Morales, will have 4K, which ha will have high dynamic range, will have ray tracing, improved lighting, shadow effects, and improved character detail. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And Xbox is going to show us Captain Game Pass, bro, and then delay the game. And y'all got the most powerful console. I saw an article um, earlier today. And the article was saying, if Xbox has the most powerful console, what are they afraid to show? Why, what, why is Xbox afraid to show the power of the Xbox Series X? We're still waiting for the next gen power, bro. Hey, Spike, let me know if you're running 2K tonight. Bucks, I think Bucks are going to run tonight. I have two play shots. I got a play shot, 6-8. We could run it up tonight, bro. Y'all let me run the point for a couple possessions. All right, we're talking about 2K. Um, But reflections, all of this stuff in a less powerful console um, I'm telling you, man, it comes down to developer, developer talent. We should have not taught him that. <laughs> Big Star. <laughs> hey, Big Star, you and Broken killing me right now, bro. Y'all killing me, bro. Uh, you can have point. Hey, appreciate it, Bucks. Hey, we got to show up on the stream, bro, because I'm streaming, bro. But I still show y'all love, though. So we still kick it out, pass it to y'all, man. Y'all can do y'all thing. But, um... Um, um, it's, it's gonna be tough, bro. And wait till I'm talking about this Xbox Series X. Before we get to the Xbox Series X, Sony did launch a new commercial. Now, this seems to be a, just a general PlayStation commercial, but strong hints at the PlayStation 5. The commercial never says PS5, but it shows play has no limits, and it shows people just keep going off of the edge of the world that means the earth is flat oh my goodness sony sony saying the world is flat come on sony get with the 21st century bro we've been we've been debunked that but it's a cool little trailer advertisement spot i think this is more of just a branding commercial um branding their product um getting playstation in the mind of gamers because i tell you man i remember growing up when People didn't say I'm playing video games. They said I'm playing Nintendo when I was um, like in the 90s and stuff. And then in the early 2000s, it switched to not I'm playing Nintendo, but I'm, I'm playing PlayStation. 
And so branding is important, man, to ingrain it in the mind of gamers. And so um, I can't wait to see uh, what what more marketing and what kind of rollout Sony has for the PS5. But a new commercial spot has launched, and this is it right here. What's up, everybody coming to the stream? We're at 198 likes. I need just two people to like the stream, and let's get over 200 likes, boy. Stop playing with me, boy. Hey. I got a flame Xbox right now, bro. I told y'all something was fishy about this Xbox Series S, bro. Let me read this article, share this article with y'all. I knew I was right, bro. I knew there was a reason why Sony, I mean, Xbox discontinued the Xbox One X. Bro. The Xbox, this is coming from TheVerge.com, but all, all other so sites are reporting the same thing. Jamel Wiggins, thanks for the $3 super chat. Appreciate everybody showing your boy some love. Appreciate it, bro. The Xbox Series S plays Xbox One S versions of Xbox. Let me Xbox One games. In other words... The Xbox Series S is not able to do the 4K enhancements to Xbox One games that previous games that the Xbox One X could do, bro. Am I getting the disc version or digital bucks? Bucks, I'm getting the disc. I'm getting the Blu-ray version bucks. Bro, let me say this again. Xbox's new next-gen console can't even do what the Xbox One X could do. They cannot play um, Xbox One games enhanced in 4K that the Xbox One X can do now because of the modern tech. Hey, Ryan Hammond. Thanks for the $5 um, donation. Only because this is killing me, bro. It's Robert Serrano, not Robert. It's Roberto. Keep up the great work, man. You and Marlon are killing it. Hey, that was... Um, it's Roberto. Roberto. Hey, I need everybody in the chat real quick to type Roberto in the chat. Roberto Serrano, the dude that I... Hey, Roberto, I reference you in almost all my videos, bro. I need to get you on the channel one day, bro, to ha to break some exclusive breaking content, bro. Hey, um, I could probably DM you or something on Twitter. But, um, hey, shout out to Roberto Serrano. I keep saying Robert Serrano. <laughs> hey, I see everybody typing Roberto. Let's get the Robertos up in the chat. I see Roberto, Roberto, Roberto. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, much love. Hey, and I appreciate you, dude, for giving us these leaks, bro. Oh, it gets me hyped. Gets me excited. All right, now where was I? Hey, hey, y'all killing it with the Robertos. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, bro. Now the Xbox Series S will be able to take advantage as far as read speeds, faster load times, but as far as running the older Xbox. Um, Xbox games enhanced in 4K that the Xbox One X can do, the Series S is not going to be able to do it. This is what the article says. Xbox One X enhancements will not be applied to Xbox Series S games. I told y'all, bro, and dudes kept trying to talk me out of it. I want to wait and see the digital foundry analysis of games running on my Xbox One X and then games running on the Series S. And I think we're going to be surprised, bro. This is where the Series S is going to have the advantage in speed. There's going to be no load times, things like that. But I want to see the performance in my 6 teraflop last gen console compared to this four teraflop new gen console i knew i knew it i knew there was a reason why 
they discontinued the Xbox One X because it would be bad for Xbox to have their next gen console on the market and their last gen console offering better features, bro. I had to do a double take when I read this article. Xbox Series S plays Xbox One S versions of Xbox One games. They will not, the Xbox Series S will not be capable of playing Xbox One X enhanced games. <sighs> hey, B Dizzle. I, hey, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try it again after the stream to add you on Discord, dude. Hey, and the video games HD, thanks for the $1 super chat. Um, B Dizzle, thanks for the $2 super chat. Um, so it's tough, man. Um, now I say this it's a this console is a good price option, it's a, it's a good option for gamers. This is, in my opinion, a Game Pass console, it's all digital, low entry point. So if you're trying to get your kids a lot of games for Christmas at a low price point, you get this, you subscribe to Game Pass, kids open it up at Christmas, they got hundreds of, game, hundreds of games to play. But, I have to say this, I did hear a rumor, now this is all rumor, take it with a huge grain of salt. First, a hey, Kevin Mitchell, I'm getting the Blu-ray version, hopefully, we are so close, you're right. Gamers Real Realm Podcast donated five. I'm digging the new shirt. I'm Mr. Switch from Twitter. Thank you for the comment. Now I need a hat. A lit, lit, lit. I need to do hat orders. A lot of dudes have been asking me um, for, for how do you get the Obi-Wan Plays hats. Um, if you you leave us a, a soup, because the hats are a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to do the hats um, pre-orders. I gotta get them uh, ordered and stuff like that. But appreciate it, Kevin. Appreciate it, Gamers Podcast. I appreciate the um, the the donation. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love shown this stream. It was pretty dope to see Roberto. Um, I'm checking out checking out the, the stream. Um, I, I watch his Twitter every day, bro, to see what what he's. Did I just say Robert or Roberto? I ch I, I check his Twitter every day to see what he tweets. Cause he has, he's been right. He's he's been right. He has some um, connections. So, um, this the Xbox Series S is a good option. Now, this is what I was gonna say before the super chats. There is, there I did see a rumor. I don't even know where the source is. So that lets you know. Take this with a huge grain of salt. That Sony was trying is trying to combine somehow PlayStation. Um, now with PlayStation Plus to where we're not playing individually for both services you just have play one subscription to PlayStation and you have both services sort of like Game Pass Ultimate I think that'll be pretty dope and I tell you this bro I tell you this if Sony gets aggressive with the subscription model like Xbox they'll have a better product just because of their exclusives do i think they'll do the same thing and launch their first party exclusives day and date at launch no because they're more confident in their sales and they want you to spend that 60 dollars. but if say horizon zero dawn ghost of tsushima last of us 2 all those go on playstation now they're older games bro bro that would be um interesting that would be interesting and so um that's the room the video games hd thanks for the five dollar super chat ps5 can't do 4k and 60 frames per second at the same time they can either do 4k or 60 frames per second with lower resolution while xbox series x is hitting 4k and 60 on most multi plats now the video games hd appreciate the five dollar super chat but that's not quite true i think that's going to be more developer based. It's going to be based on what developers do with their games. Why I say this? 
There's Xbox One X games, a 6 teraflop console that has 4K 60 frames per second games. And so 4K 60 frames per second is possible on the PlayStation 5. It's all going to be developer based. It depends on what the developer and how the developer utilizes the hardware. Now, which console is a more powerful console? Obviously, the Xbox Series X is the more co powerful console. You can't debate that. It's just, it, it is what it is. But for me, it always comes down to games, man, exclusives. And I think that's where Sony has the advantage. They have the exclusives, the exclusive, the exclusives. And at the end of the day, with the 10 teraflops, 12 teraflops, most multi-platform games you're not going to be able to see a difference in performance between both systems it's going to be the exclusives and how developers utilize the power of the hardware with those exclusives but um i can't even really say it's going to be a, a, a dope generation for both consoles because i'm still waiting for xbox to wow me man xbox has not wowed me they've wowed me with the hardware but where as far as games um uh, there's no games no no exclusives no games um that's compelling for me to go out and say all right i need to cop me an xbox series x or s um but sony's done it man everything man just i like the the controller everything just feels like new tech and where the xbox it feels like it's a a 0.5 jump where it feels like the same, the controller feels the same, the hardware in some aspects even looks the same as my Xbox One X, so, mm, all right, and last but not least, and we're shutting it down, I'm going to be gaming with the sponsors on my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship, later, in about an hour or two, later tonight, bro, this Godfall, let me put this, it's not running in, it's running at 480, put this, put this bad boy, will it run at 20, there it is, bro, I briefly talked about this new Godfall trailer that showed, that was, um, revealed, I think, yesterday, and the first thing I saw was, man, this game received a major graphical update, well, it's now been confirmed, that this is footage running directly on a PS5. Um, not a dev kit, but on a PlayStation 5 is where this, um, this new combat trailer of Godfall is running on. And man, this game looks way better than what I remembered, bro. Um, and so Godfall is going to be a console exclusive. It's also going to be on PC. But a console, a console launch exclusive on the PS5. This is going to be a day one buy uh, looter slasher type game. Going to be playing this with the sponsors, YouTube membership, Twitch subs. Um, dope, 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 dope stuff. My camera just went out of focus. All right, dudes. That is all that all the news that I have in today's edition of Epicness. Um, what do you guys think about everything? everything we talked about today some dope 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 news i'm hyped that sony is about to airship our playstation 5s yes 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 what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. My favorite exclusive sweater has to be Ratchet and Clank right now. That Ratchet and Clank is looking clean, bro. And it's a launch window title. Let's go, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Games, man. All right, dudes. We out. I'll see y'all later. Oh, wait. Real quick. Sadibra with the $10 super chat. Sadibra, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the love, all the support from everyone this stream. Y'all went crazy with the super chats. And Sadibra just ended with a bang. All right, I'll see y'all later. We're out.
you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, Follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.